If we didn't have guilt, wouldn't we just go around doing whatever we feel like, being unproductive or even destructive? Is there a healthy amount of guilt? Okay, that's a good question. Don't confuse guilt with self-discipline. Your discipline is your best friend. Your guilt is not your friend. Your guilt is a self-torture. You have to develop the habit of your own discipline and then you have to enjoy it because that is your support. Your support lies in your own habit of your own discipline. So you can rationalize and you can trick yourself and you can, your mind is very tricky and you can make excuses and you can do this and you can do that. And then you can go through a cycle of guilt and torture yourself for not doing something. But there's an alternative. The alternative is slow and steady to develop your habit and your routine. So it becomes an essential part of your life so that your sadhana is the foundation of your day. And if one morning you wake up late, if one morning you don't do your bonnies that morning, if one morning you don't take a cold shower, don't look back. Each moment is fresh. Each moment is new. Each moment is a new opportunity. Just ground yourself in your discipline. Enjoy it. Make it become your habit. Make it become your lifestyle. And never look back, because you can't go back and make up for things. Either you have established a habit or you have not established a habit. Either you're a yo-yo or you're solid. You can't go up and down, up and down, up and down and still have a discipline. So everybody messes up sometimes, no big deal. You keep up, you continue, you go forwards, you do what must be done. But any time you spend torturing yourself, any time you spend feeling bad, feeling guilty, feeling I've done something wrong, that's just a self-hurt. That's not a self-discipline.